please give it up for Gord Banford. I was born in Australia. My mom's Canadian, my dad's an Aussie, and I, they always had a, a band going when I was a little kid, so country music was always kind of part of uh, who I am, I guess. I always sang, you know, growing up, but uh, it was actually a fluke thing. My friends entered me in a talent search one night, and I didn't even know I was, I was entered in it until they called my name and ended up winning that night, and then on to the final the next night and won the whole thing, and I got my first song on the radio, so uh, it's kind of crazy how it happened. It, you know, back when I got into country music, it was the 90s, you know, and country music was country music at that time. So, you know, Alan Jackson and George Strait and, and Garth Brooks and, and, you know, people like that were definitely uh, people that inspired me to get into the business. And, and they still do today, so it's, it's still the same. It's hard to explain the feeling when you get on stage, but it, it's, uh, it's kind of like a, you know, there's, there's no better feeling than looking down at somebody and they're singing your songs and the words that you've written. I mean, the other night we were at a, at a big festival and there's, I think she might have been 18 or 19 years old and we played a song called Leaning on a Lonesome Song and yeah, she's crying, like I can see her, she's just crying. So I walk up and grab her hand and yeah, it's pretty cool when you, when you can see your music changing people's lives in different ways. I was first introduced to Kubota by a good friend of mine that uh, I actually was a roommate with back when we were younger, played a lot of ball with. I was in shop class in grade 10 and they were doing a grade 9 tour and uh, this little rosy cheeked uh, kid comes by me and says, hey Cody, how you doing? And I had no idea who this kid was, but uh, turns out that was Gord, so we became friends uh, not shortly after that. He's had such a great career and, you know, it's, it's been pretty cool to watch and be a part of. You know, from him growing up, watching him sing uh, Lady in Red at every high school assembly. <laughs> He's, uh, he's definitely uh, grown up and, and uh, made some great music. Well, we wanted to get uh, kind of a face for Kubota Canada and we wanted to have a broader reach. I guess with me growing up with Gord, knowing him for many years, it was just kind of a natural fit and uh, we approached Gord and um, you know, from there, the rest is history. He became a big part of Kubota Canada and, and our group. Having my first national Canadian partnership with, with a company like Kubota was, uh, yeah, I'm, a dream come true. I mean, it was, it was something that, uh, you know, you'd look back and go, you know, how does somebody like that even want to work with a guy like me? You know, you have all this success to get to that level where you can start to establish these kind of relationships. And then when you look at the, the synergies that we have together, I mean, I think it's just kind of a no-brainer for me. Gord is an amazing uh, guy. He's uh, really committed to people. He's really involved in communities and very much involved in giving back. And so from a brand ambassador perspective, it's a really great fit for Kubota. We're really excited to have the opportunity to, to be working with him and helping to support him in the communities that we're also involved in as well. So it really is a win-win for both of our groups and a great opportunity for us to have that partnership and really work together to um, raise money for local communities. The giving back side of what we do for our, our, our foundation, which we raise a lot of money for children and youth and small communities really fits, you know, their mandate and what they want to do. And, you know, they, they just feel like such a family to me, like, and they make you feel like you're part of their family. I mean, it's, it's incredible. They, they're, they're so kind and not just to me, but to my band and my crew. And um, they, they go beyond over, over and above all the time. And it's just been an awesome partnership that I'm very, uh, very lucky to have. And I, and I don't take it for granted. Through the city.